Um, hello everybody, um, my name's Tash and um, Manetta has asked me to come on and do a live question and answer session with you guys, um, although I've already got the questions, <laughs> just have to do the answers, so um, she told me to wait a minute or so so that everybody can jump on and um, and then we'll get started. I hope you're all okay. Um, it's been a bit rubbish weather today, but um, we managed to get out this afternoon and do a nice park walk, um, splashing in puddles and all that jazz. So yeah, it's been good. So I've got some tea and my questions. I feel quite organized. <laughs> Hello, Yolanda. Hi, Marnetta. <laughs> this is quite fun, actually. Just gonna get rid of that strange um, notification thing. Hi, Stuart. Never met you before, but hi. <laughs> cool. Has it been a minute? I'm not sure. Oh, yay. Um, so I'll get started then. And um, just gonna talk about myself, which I don't really like doing, but I'll do it anyway. Um, so yeah, as I said before, my name's Tash or Natasha and um, I've been a relaxed kids coach since 2018, so just over two years now, and I trained in Glastonbury with Anna. Yay! That's supposed to be a love heart. And um, yeah, it was, it was fantastic, made lots of friends, learnt lots of stuff, and amazing weekend. Awesome place to do the training, Glastonbury. It's kind of like, you know the mecca of relaxation. Anyway, um, so what did I do before I became a coach? Well, I was actually, um, well, I trained originally to be an actor and did some, I did drama school, did some uh, professional work, mainly theatre and education, so going into schools and doing performances and um, did that for a few years and then um, I had to stop because I needed more regular income because got married, got a mortgage, all that jazz. And it and um, and then my son came along, so I just needed something a bit more um, reliable. So yeah, that's what I did before I became a coach. And um, I was a, oh, I taught drama as well for a long time. So I had I had some teaching experience before I did my relaxed kids training, which um, really um, helped so I was teaching drama for a long time and even started a drama therapy course which because um, I sort of started to um, see that drama could really help children who were struggling with things um, so yeah um, how did I find out about the training and what made you do it well it was the lovely old Facebook um, yeah, it just relaxed kids just flashed up because um, at that time I think I was only doing Facebook on my laptop and the adverts used to flash up at the side um, and relaxed kids just flashed up one day. I was actually at work um, and I was waiting for a student to come in to do a one-to-one -one drama class and um, it just sort of, I just saw this relaxed kids sign and um, I thought, ooh that might be something to look at um, because at the time my son was really struggling with his anger and anxiety and just general emotions a lot to do with the separation between me and his dad and I was really struggling as a single parent as a as a mum you know we all do um, but at the time I kind of exhausted all resources to help him. So relaxed kids flashed up. It's um, it was kind of weird how it happened that day because I was feeling particularly low. And originally I um, clicked on it to see if I could get him into a class anywhere. Um, haha. <laughs> Thanks, Stuart. Yeah, I'm quite amazed that I remember it too. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I originally looked into Relax Kids to get him into a class, but there was none local to me. The The closest one was Rosie in Tamworth, which um, 
was fine. I wouldn't have minded taking him to Tamworth at all, but at the time, Rosie wasn't running sessions. And the more I kind of... I just kept being drawn back to the website and... And, um, yeah, I just thought... I just was reading all the stuff and... And as at the same time, career-wise, I had been feeling for a long time like I needed a change. So when I saw that you could do the training, I... Um, I thought, oh, maybe. But the thing that did it for me <laughs> was, um, oh, hello, that's my son, um, was the fact that there was training in Glastonbury because I absolutely love Glastonbury. Um, and I said to my mum, I said, I'm, I might do this. Um, and there is training in Glastonbury. And she said, well, Tash, that's it. You've got to go. So I did. And um, yeah, and it was it was amazing. Um, life changing, really one of those things I'm going to remember for a long time, well forever it's, you know it was, uh, I, I'd say that was a good that was a turning point in my career, in my life when I found, when I went and did that training um, so, why do I love teaching relaxed kids um, I love teaching relaxed kids because <laughs> um well, gosh, there are so many. Hey, Jody, the Glastonbury training was incredible. It really was. Um, oh, there's so many reasons why I love teaching relaxed kids. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of one out of a million. Primarily because I think in the space of 60 minutes, you can physically see a change in children um, and adults as well. You you see them. I mean, um, just one child pops into my head. Um, he came into my session. It was a breakfast club session, so it was early. And he had huge, like, dark shadows under his eyes, you know, from being tired or stressed. And he was really just physically and mentally drained from from, from whatever had been going on. And, and as the hour went along and we went through our seven steps I just it was quite miraculous I mean you might not believe me but I actually saw the dark um patches disappear they just went and he just physically changed from this sort of heavy dark weighed down child to quite somebody quite happy and and light and and smiley and um and I've seen I, I think that's the thing that i really really love is just seeing that transformation because having suffered from anxiety and things like that myself and knowing how they feel and just knowing that you can spend an hour and then and knowing what that feels like to have the relief of I don't feel like that anymore I mean it's 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 amazing it's really really good and that's another reason why I love teaching relaxed kids because it's helped me as well um it really has really has it's it's I know it sounds like a cliche but it is a bit of a game changer you know I was sitting down there in Glastonbury doing the training and I think all of the girls that were with me we all just kept saying god I wish we'd have had this when we were younger wish 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 um because it's just it's just brilliant um and it's fun and it's um it's um positive there's so much negativity that goes on in schools these days and pressure and blah blah and i just love the fact that they come in and they're like ah oh, yes i've been looking forward to this and they can just let it let put it behind the door and yeah i think that's what i love about it most um by the way i'm sorry if i'm waffling i'll just yeah so next question what was your life like pre-lockdown well the word for that is busy 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 oh, it was well, it was actually it was getting to a point if I'm honest now that where I was getting tired and I was getting a bit bogged down with work I loved it but um yeah it was just so busy so full-on um I was teaching in four five schools um three classes on a Monday two classes on a Tuesday three one-to-ones Wednesday morning and then an afternoon drama class. Um, 
six one-to-ones on a Thursday morning, then two group sessions on a Thursday afternoon, plus my community sessions on a Thursday evening. And then Friday was two sessions in the morning. So it, um, oh, thanks Marnetta. <laughs> That's nice. Could listen to you all day. Oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, it was really busy, but I mean, that was, it was fantastic. And, and I am so grateful. Um, for the, the schools and I, I have been really lucky because it, it sort of, the work just, just came in. It was like one child came to a community class, her mum taught at a school, so um, they got me in there and, and the teachers were phoning me f and saying, your, this child has been to your session, we've seen the, the changes in her, can we get you in? All this sort of stuff. So it was, it was really, really lovely. Um, but I was getting tired, I have to say. I mean, I know this whole situation hasn't been particularly wonderful, but I will say it has been nice to slow down and do all those things that we teach the kids to do. Um, so what have I been doing during lockdown? Well, it has come to a halt, um, big time. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, in a way. Like I've just said, needed a bit of a break. Um, I've been making sure that I do my um, live relaxations every evening at seven o'clock. I haven't done them this week though, and there's a reason for that, which I'll get to later. Um, but yeah, I've just made sure that I've been there at seven o'clock on my Facebook page doing a, a live relaxation, um, just so that if there are any students that need that, then it's there. And it's been quite nice actually, it's given me something to um, focus on, um, something to sort of, uh, well, just to do. Um, and actually, um, it is a really good thing for yourself as well to just sit. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you can hear, but I've got my relaxation music on and my little light and stuff. And it really does help you yourself to just go, Whew, right, we did that, we did that day, we got through another one, yes. Let's chill out and and breathe. And it's helped my son as well. Um, yeah, it's just been really good. Um, I haven't had much work. I've had a couple of Zoom sessions with a couple of students. Um, um, which have been great. Um, I thought I'd have more, if I'm honest. I'm, I was going, I went through a whole, oh, why does nobody want this kind of thing? But it's just the way of the world, I suppose, at the minute. Um, so I've just kind of accepted that and I've started to think over the last week of how, um, how I, what I can do now. And I've kind of come up with an idea that I might see if I can do some sessions in my garden, just limiting it to like two children per class, keeping social distancing. I've got a very long garden, so the, the mums can even sit two metres apart and watch, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. So that's my plan. That's my plan. But I have to lay a patio first. Uh, but yeah, that's tomorrow's job. <laughs> So yeah, um, I I just kind of, I had a bit of a sulk about it a couple of weeks back and then I just thought, you know what, I'm obviously not meant to do this at the minute. I'm going to do the whole relax kids thing and just breathe and let it be. And then an idea came to me this this week and um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go with it. I'm going to see how it goes because I've got like a little water feature in the garden, loads of flowers. It's It's quite quiet where I live. And I just think, you know, that would be quite cool. That would be quite nice. So that's what I'm doing during lockdown. And uh, homeschooling. Which is interesting. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. Um, so next question. Have I received responses from parents and teachers? Yes. Lots of um, positive feedback. I haven't been on top of it. Um, really, I should have asked for more feedback more often. But because it was so busy, so hectic, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think um, I just kind of got behind myself. Hello. <laughs> and um, But yes, I, I've 
sort of accumulated quite a few um, uh, responses from parents and I have put them on my Facebook page so if anybody wants to look at them I'll put, they're on the reviews section if you just go to Relax Kids Nuneaton with Tash and have a look at my um, reviews then they're on there and also I think that the kids responses speak for themselves really um, you know the fact that they come into your class and or, or rather even before they get into your class they see you enter the school with your trolley and your purple jumper and they're like oh, Tash is here hooray see you later and um, and I just think that that's that's a review enough for me the fact that they are so happy to see me um, and I'm really missing them at the minute actually now I'm thinking about it <laughs> um, so yeah uh, um, next question what would you tell someone who is thinking about doing the training well just do it I mean I think there was a there was a running joke in our in our on our course in Glastonbury um, when we, we all sat in a circle with Anna and uh, we had like a little introductory thing and we all had to say, you know, how we'd got there and what, blah, blah. And I think most of the girls were like, well, I just put it on the credit card. I just put it on the credit card. I put it on the credit card. Um, and the point of that is, you know, I mean, it it was a leap of faith for me, but I mean, sometimes if we don't, take these leaps of faith then I don't know it, it just seemed it just felt right I mean I'm a bit like that if it feels right then I'll do it if it doesn't feel right then I won't or I'll wait until it does and um yeah it, it just yeah it's really good and there's plenty of work for everybody I think I mean there's me and two other trained coaches in my town <laughs> I remember it too Jodie and um that you know and there's there's more than enough I mean our town um you know there's so many schools there's a school almost on every corner perhaps that's why I've been so lucky really but yeah and um and there's more than enough work for all of us really and it's it's so good personally I mean even even if you're not going to be teaching it even if you're just doing it for your because I I didn't know I was going to teach it I I was I did it purely to help Daniel out help my son and ended up teaching it um but I think when you do the training you you can't help but not want to teach it because you realize actually how much kids teenagers adults everybody needs it um so yeah go for it and you know if you go to Glastonbury it's even better <laughs> um well actually I don't know if it's even better because I've I've never been to any of the other courses, but never mind. Anyway, babbling. So, um, relax kids in three words. Now, that's the hardest one, Marnetta. <laughs> um, <sighs> three words. Three words. Relax kids in three words. Um, can I stretch to four? Um, everybody. Oh, no, that's three. Everybody needs this. Yeah, everybody needs this, I think. You know, even if, you know, you're the most secure, um, oh, I don't even know how to say it, happy person in the world, there will always be a moment in your life, um, oh, there's another question, um, there will always be a moment in your life where you need to kind of, um, uh, stop and kind of regain control of yourself, um, and just to have those tools, it can just be such a relief to go, oh, hang on, I know what this is, I know what I'm feeling, I know what to do about it. And that is a really lovely thing to, to have. It's a life skill, I think, as well. I think that's another thing I've realised, is that this isn't, you know, you can... Maths, English, science, home economics, whatever, yeah. But this is a life skill. At some point in your life, you're going to need these skills. So, yeah. And the last question. What's your big dream? Oh. Well, um, I'd love to have... Um, oh, God, there's three more questions. Hang on. Um, I'd love My big dream, I'd love to have a Relax Kids hub in Nuneaton, in the town where I live. I'd love to have a building 
and um, funnily enough there's an old primary school no infant school that is almost derelict and um, there's a big for sale sign up out the front and it's a really old-fashioned Victorian building and I said to my mum wouldn't that be so amazing if we could paint the bricks all different rainbow colours and actually have a relaxation hub I think that would be awesome so yeah that's my dream um, and just to keep going, keep spreading the love, keep keep helping these little kids out. And big kids, because they need it as well. Um, how many classes do you teach a week and what age group? Uh, okay, so I did... Ooh, I'm trying to think now. So I did three, three classes on a Monday. Um, one was year six, one was year three and then the other one was in an infant school so they would have been year two so um so that's what six eights and elevens um um and then same again on tuesday without the infant school um it's yeah actually i'm gonna round that up it's more or less primary at the minute but that, actually that's one of my other dreams is to get my charge up stuff on the move and because I, I did do the charge up training as well and um, I haven't been able to do anything with that at the minute because because I've been so busy with relaxed kids so so yeah um hope that answers your question Gareth sorry if I'm rambling what do you feel children need at this time um reassurance um routine um uh yeah, I'd say that was my two big things, reassurance and routine, um, just so that they're kind of, they feel secure about what's happening and um, and, and that's why I sort of did my seven o'clock relaxations because that was something that they could, that they knew was going to happen every day, um, regardless of lockdown, re regardless of what they've heard on the news, regardless of love, whether they're at school or not. Um, to have that routine, to have that moment where they can come back and just uh, breathe and almost kind of escape. Um, I think, um, yeah, I think that's what they need at this time. What, is, what advice for families experiencing things like, um, uh, <laughs> find a relaxed kids coach <laughs> um, and get them to come round. Um, yeah, I think um, family time to talk, to be still. I mean, I'm a big believer in meals around a table where you talk and and sort stuff out that's gone on in the day. And um, um, yeah, I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? Because not every family knows about relaxed kids. Um, so if I, I mean, if I was an anxious parent that didn't know about relaxed kids, then it, it's it's um, it's a hard place to be. So um, I guess if if you yeah, that's a hard one. Just if you can access a relaxed kids coach and find out some techniques that they can do as a family. Um, I mean, we say it quite a lot. It's okay teaching the kids in school, but then sometimes when they go home all of that um, is kind of undone again. So if we can get the whole family involved, then yeah, um, that would be cool. Uh, what do you think of the charge-up training? Awesome, it was fab. Um, again, Anna, she's just, she's a goddess. And um, yeah, I love to charge up, really, really excited about it. And I would love to do some charge-up stuff. Um, and hopefully actually, when I get my garden sorted, I can do some charge-up sessions as well. Um, so yeah, that would be nice. But yeah, charge-up's great as well. Um, it's just relaxed kids, which is awesome, but more, well, age appropriate. And yeah, there's so much you can do with that. It was all really, really good. Yay, charge-up was fantastic. It was, Yolanda. I still remember Yolanda massaging my hands because it was so good. <laughs> um, if a parent was thinking of sending their child to a relaxed kids class, what would you say to them? Yes, send them. Because they, 
there's so much that they can get out of it. I mean, it's not just about teaching kids to relax, it's confidence, it's socialising, it's, you know, giving them a break from whatever it is that they're going through, or even if they're not going through anything, it's, it's a place to unwind, to offload, to be a child, to have some fun, to smile, to laugh, to breathe, to learn and yeah do it yeah and I'm not saying that because I get paid <laughs> I'm saying that because it is really good for them I've seen an awful lot of improvement in my son and I've been teaching him which sometimes I think is is more difficult um but yeah he he just loves relaxed kids and um, every time we see a rainbow on something he goes oh look move play stretch feel breathe believe relax <laughs> it's 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 brilliant um what is your favorite part of a relaxed kids class Ooh. hmm hmm that's difficult all of it but i do love believe um and i like um uh breathe well I don't know all of it I think <laughs> it's really hard yeah um I do like believe because um I think that's something that in a way it's it's the hardest se section for them because actually I've noticed that it's really hard for children to change their habitual um, negative thinking and it's very often you give them an affirmation and, and as soon as they read it they go no I'm not you are fantastic. No, I'm not. And they just, and, and I've actually had children hand them back to me and say, you can have that. And I think that's really sad. Um, but at the same time, it motivates me to, to keep going with it, obviously. And um, so, yeah, I, I do love Believe. But then I do love Move as well because the, you see the kids just let go and let rip and it gets a bit raucous and a bit loud, but as long as you don't mind that. And as long as you can then bring them back. Um, yeah. And I love the part where I have to wake them up at the end. <laughs> and their parents are outside, not necessarily in schools, but, you know, the community sessions. If the parents are outside and it's like, come on, guys, you've got to get up now. And they just don't want to. So, oh, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> so are you, dear. You're amazing. Every time there's like a technical problem, I'm like, Sarah, help. And she does. She's a wonder woman, so... Yay. Um, do you have students with learning difficulties? Um, yes, I have... Uh, I've, I've taught some autistic children. Obviously, before lockdown happened, in one of my classes, there was two autistic kids. Um, and it really helps them. I actually... Um, did my charge up taster sessions to get my certificate at my mum's school um, and she works um, at a school specifically for uh, autism and special needs and I worked with their six not six form post 16 which I suppose in a way is six form um, their post 16 group only a small group but they're sort of like um, what 15 I don't know 15 16 17 something like that and they, and I was really nervous about it because I just thought, oh, this is the first time I'm doing charge up. Um, first time I'm, you know, I don't know, are these kids going to get it? Is it going to be too much? Should they be having relaxed kids? Oh, oh. so many questions. And then, um, and they just loved it. I mean, you know, to have a, a, um, an autistic, almost man, um, you know, sort of 16, 17 year old, you know, coming in and, and stimming and and really anxious. And and then you, I mean, asking a, a, a student like that to be still, you, you know, they can't do that. But but he did. And he lay down on the floor and, and he actually said that this was the most peaceful he'd ever felt. And I mean... Whoa, it's quite hard sometimes because it makes you want to cry, but you think, well, I'm the teacher, so I shouldn't really. <laughs> I should be in control. But, um, but yeah, it's, um, I th I, the ones I've taught, I mean, 
I have to uh, thinking about it. I have got an autistic child as well who is who was before lockdown struggling with it. But I'm wondering. I think that was because it was still something she was getting used to. Um, yeah. But from my experience, I think it does help. So there we go. So I've come to the end of my questions, and there are no more questions on the screen. So, um, <laughs> oh, thanks, Yolanda. Guys, I miss you. Well, I've got a question. Oh, what have you, well, go on then, what's your question? Do you enjoy relaxed kids? Do I enjoy relaxed kids? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Were you not listening to anything I just said? No. Yes. Do you enjoy relaxed kids? Mm -hmm. What do you like about relaxed kids? Tell all of the people watching. Um, what do you like the most? No. Think about it. Seven steps. Which one's uh, your favourite? Move. Move. Yeah, Daniel has to move. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so um, oh, my battery is going to die in twenty percent time. So actually, I'm just going to. Um, oh, thanks, guys. That's such a lovely thing. As I was saying before, I was interrupted. Um, yeah, we need to we need to have a purple get together soon. I know we can't, but as soon as we can, because I have to say that's one thing I haven't said, and I've said a lot. This company is so supportive. I actually feel like I've got a family around me, which is quite important, especially seeing as I'm, you know, single parent on my own, branching out into a new uh, career. Um, as a drama teacher, I felt very, very alone, very on my own. But in here, in here, in, in Relax Kids, it, yeah, you just feel so supported. If, if, you, if, there's a, if there's something you're stuck with, you only have to email, phone, put it on coach's chat or whatever. And, and within, I don't know, minutes, um, you get help which is just amazing and um, I'm really really grateful for that so thank you everybody um, and um, yeah it's it's lovely and I can't wait to get back to work now that I've spoken about all this I really can't wait and I am going to get my patio done tomorrow so I can do classes in my in my garden so I hope that's been helpful I hope I haven't bored you all with my rambling and um yeah, uh, if you've got any more questions, then inbox me and yeah, I'm here um, for whenever you need me. And I've actually, I'm going to finish this with um, with a little thing from my yogi tea. I don't know if anybody has ever experienced yogi tea. You can get them from Holland and Barrett um, and probably elsewhere as well. But every tea bag comes with a little affirmation. And on the box, it has a stretch as well, a little stretch that you can do or a, a breathing exercise. It's amazing. And um, I made this cup of tea before this session started. And it says, the affirmation is, live light, travel light, spread the light, be the light. And I think that that's quite amazing, considering what we've just been talking about. And Relax Kids is the light. Ah, yeah, sponsored by Yogi Tea. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, travel light, mm, it's a bit hard because you're always pulling a load of stuff and uh, yoga mats and resources. But, you know, we can we can travel light in our minds. <laughs> all right, guys, well, um, is that all right, Marnetta? Do I need to do any more or shall I say bye-bye? And I um, hope it's not too long before I see you all or some of you again. And, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, have a lovely evening, Purple Power. And, um, yeah, let me know if you need anything else from me and stay safe. Love you all lots. Mwah. Sending out lots of light. Bye-bye. <laughs>